In this video, we will walk you through how to correctly import your inventory. After creating a trial of Rentman, you will have a workspace filled with test data. This data can give you an idea of what your workspace will look like after you fill it with your own data and how it can be used. Whenever you're ready, you can clear this data out and import your own equipment into Rentman. First, we need to empty the database. If this button has not been hidden, you can find this in the configuration module. When deleting the demo database, almost everything will be deleted. The data that is not deleted, crew members for example, can be deleted manually later. Now that the equipment has been deleted, we are ready to set up the import file. We recommend making use of our import template file. We will go over the most important columns. The equipment name. This name is typically referenced when planning equipment. We recommend importing all items first, and then building kits, cases, and assigning accessories in Rentman later. It's also possible to import kits and cases, but do note, these will be empty. Content can only be assigned to kits and cases manually after the import is complete. Another column that is important is the Rental Sales column. Here you can indicate if you intend to rent this item out or sell it to your customers. The Stock Calculation method determines if something should be tracked individually or as a bulk item. Individually tracked items are typically high value, such as speakers. These are referenced by a so-called serial number and will each have their own QR code. The amount of stock for these items will be calculated based on how many serial numbers there are. Bulk items, such as cables, tape, and fog liquid are not tracked individually and are referenced with a single QR code. Therefore, the starting quantity of bulk items can simply be filled in in the quantity column. This is the unit price that you plan to rent your equipment out for, or the price you plan to sell your equipment at. We recommend a folder structure to keep your equipment organized. This structure can be imported with your equipment using a forward slash between parent folders and subfolders. If this structure already exists in your database, the imported equipment will be allocated to existing folders. If the folders do not exist, they will be created with the import. The display in planner simply indicates if the equipment is to be shown as available to plan on projects. For instance, you may want to keep track of internally used equipment, but not want to plan it on projects. When left empty, Rentman will automatically generate QR codes for your equipment. But if your equipment is already labeled, you can import your QR codes here. The VAT class column allows you to tax equipment at different rates. This is most common in Europe. For US or Canadian users, this column will indicate if your equipment is taxable or not. A yes will indicate taxable, a no will indicate not taxable. Now that we're done with the general equipment data, we'll input data specific to individual pieces of equipment, also known as serialized equipment and Rentman. Any rows filled in here should have a 1 in the stock calculation method column. You can easily keep track of serialized data by the blue shading on the columns. The serial number field will be referenced when booking this equipment out in the warehouse module. You can come up with your own reference, as we have done here, or use the manufacturer's serial number. The date of purchase determines when this unit will be available to plan. If left blank, this will be filled in with today's date. Keep in mind that individual equipment will only be available to plan on projects after the date of purchase. Rentman will automatically generate QR codes for your equipment for you, but if your equipment is already labeled, you can input your QR codes here. Note that because we have individual QR codes for this equipment, we have left the generic QR code blank. We now have all data entered, but let's first clean up the sheet and quickly check if everything looks correct. First, we'll delete the columns we don't need. Next, we'll double check that the column headers remain unchanged or at least match up with the column headers in Rentman. This will allow Rentman to automatically match the columns, making your import process even faster. Finally, let's make sure that for our individual equipment, all values in the orange columns are identical. Individual equipment will have one row per individual item. So, if you have three speakers, each speaker will have its own row with identical data in orange columns and unique data in blue columns. This will ensure that Rentman imports these as individual units of one piece of equipment 
instead of separate pieces of equipment. Looking good! Let's start with the import. We will import all rows as a new item and select Yes for serial numbers. After adding our file and indicating that our file has headers, we'll make sure our columns matched correctly. Nice! Because we have used the import template with correct column headers, everything automatically matched. Any fields not matched by Rentman can be manually matched. Because we are importing a folder structure, we don't need to select a root folder that all of the equipment will be imported into. Lastly, let's check a sample of the data to make sure it's heading to the right columns. Everything looks good, so let's proceed with the import. Success! We can see our import succeeded, and how many items were imported. In the event of a failure, you will see exactly what failed and can download a file with the failed rows. To get the most out of Rentman, we would suggest that you explore the other possibilities that importing offers, such as bulk updating your database, in the Rentman Support Center. Apart from importing help, the Support Center contains articles and videos covering every part of the software. Happy importing!